Welcome back everyone. Um, we took a look at a lot of the data about our school at the beginning of the school year and now that we're coming to the end of the first grading period, we're looking at a, a nine week uh, segment here, um, it's time for us to be able to look at the interventions that we put into place at the beginning of the school year and especially to assess how those interventions are going so far far and specifically what kids perhaps have made enough progress that you feel like they don't need to be in intervention any longer or what new students you might want to invite into that intervention. So our task at this point with all of you uh, seated in uh, grade level groups is to um, look at the interventions that are going on in your grade level group and talk about individual students who are either making very good progress in that intervention and can be accepted out of it or perhaps new students or I should say and new students that should be added to your intervention efforts. So with that I'll turn this over to your conversations. It wasn't it Stephanie? And Esther. And Esther. Okay, so we got two off, okay? He wasn't on. Um, who's, who's, who's popping up first? Omar, oh, let's talk, let's talk about Omar. I thought him first because we made the big intervention of switching off the list. How's it going? Switches classes, and now he's working in third period math, um, specifically with Sandy, um, just in math itself. And I think that that was an amazing intervention for him. I think she's been a great peer teacher um, as far as that's concerned because she's working with him a lot and he's really liking math and understanding the way that she says things and so I think as far as math is concerned I'll speak for Din um, I think that he's making a great turnaround I don't think that he's off the radar but I think that he's these are, these interventions are working for him right now in math and I know in English having um, just more one-on-one -on -one support with him with with Analea with us now on a couple days a week she can really sit next to him and help him and with his essay especially this week and, and things like that so I know that that's been helping but I agree I don't think that we're ready to um, pull one thing plug on him anybody follow up with Nemo mm -hmm. who has Nemo in math okay I am very concerned about her because she's she struggling she doesn't speak at all really she doesn't even talk in your class we didn't grab them. Oh, I have, a, I have the opposite problem sometimes in mine. But she is struggling in every single subject. She's also on, on the incomplete list for the most classes, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. in, every, in every class. Well, she's our think one think it's kid. a yeah? I think she's, yes. Yeah, I think there's a processing issue with her. I think it's language. I think language is an is a issue. But I also think she might have some processing issues going on, too. So we need, and she's already in my intervention class. I don't have a good enough feel from her yet to make that call. Because she's not talking to you, huh? And I haven't worked with her one-on-one -on -one in small groups very much either. We do a writing prompt every day, and then we have this book that, um, because there's so many English learners, on idioms and, you know, figurative language, figurative language and that kind of stuff. But what we're finding is um, many of them, other than their language, it's um, they have really low comprehension skills. Mm -hmm. Like it, it's it's These are the kind of across the board. It's difficult for them to read a passage. The activities. Well, I'm just thinking of their. I mean, I've seen a lot of improvement out of a lot of them in the writing. Like, don't you think? Especially the kids. They're writing talking. and they're going back and they're rereading. Rereading. We they're found re them. We hear them oh. actually going okay. through and they're checking and they're finding things themselves. So what? these are just some activities they do for the reading comprehension. I need to look. I can't. Is it like 18? No, no, no. There's but it's close that. to 25. So I don't know how many between up or down. I don't know how many kids we have. But it's close to 25. So I'm just thinking about how to... I mean, we can have them go to fifth period tutoring. I think that would be the best intervention at this point. Mm -hmm. Or... To, uh, or we could that uh, 
on Fridays. When do you? Uh, when are you free? Which periods do you have seniors? One and two. Oh no, but I we don't have school for the yeah. next two Fridays. I mean, we have no school next Friday. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm just, I'm just trying to throw out like at least one of those days. At least you and I can rotate because I have first and second ready. I'm first and second mm -hmm. on Friday, mm -hmm. and if we have another period ready, we can at least do one of those Fridays, even that one before Thanksgiving if we have. To. And that could be the day that they've already received your packet, and maybe they come in with the few problems that they know they can't do. Okay, so maybe on this day, because the um, fourth period that day is when we have the game, is that correct? Yes. Oh, right, we're going to be on a modified schedule just like yeah. we were today. After so it's an hour. Is that is that fifth period something that we're making mandatory though for these kids again? Is it another mandatory type thing? Say it again. I don't know. The students in fifth period that will be taking that tutoring with you for the calculus 150 for that test. Is that I can't another be here. mandatory thing? I, I don't know if it would be mandatory. Well, I think I'm thinking about the group of students. Sorry to interrupt you, but I'm just thinking about that group of students and that they're they've bought in to take this oh, advanced yeah, calculus absolutely. class. I don't even think it's the group that you really got to worry about making it mandatory. Okay. Right? I mean, they're going to want to see that test. They're going to yes. want to go through it. Yes. Gonna, yes. These are, yeah. I don't think the it's problem like is that I didn't realize But will there be some this, overlap in some of those same students? I didn't realize that this test was coming up so soon. What we're going to do, we're going to read a few pages, we'll see where is a good stopping point, and then we're going to summarize the important information. So remember to kind of focus on what things you could put in for those bullet points. We want to focus on maybe one or two words for each one, then we're going to summarize it with the sentence. Okay, so let's go ahead and start by reading. Okay. A shoebox size package is properly against the front of the door at an angle. Then I run a scissor, scissor blade around the package and lift off its top. Inside the shoebox, it was a roll. Okay, let's go back to this one one more time. In case what? In case you're uh -huh. tempted to break the rules. Good. Okay. You understand that I did not make a copy of these tapes. A lot happened in that section. <laughs> Let's see if we can get the main idea the, or the important details or information. What were those pages? Let's track our pages first so that when we go back, we look at these, we know where to find it. So we start at five. Uh huh. Oh yeah, we're at five. Yep. So we'll do pages five to what? Eight. We're at eight. Okay. Pages five to eight. Nine. We're at ten. Oh, <laughs> ten. All right. Top of ten. Top of ten. Okay. Okay, so um, if you were to say who, or what would you say this section was about? Who or what? So either a main character or an idea? Um, I would say a main character. Okay, who would you say it was about? It's about a girl named Hannah. Okay, so let's go ahead and just write Hannah's name right in that section. What happened? What was... He opened up a packet. He ended up finding a package in, outside of his door. Okay. And he realized it was tapes for him. And he opens the package. Okay. And who were those tapes from? They were from. It was from a post office. I think it was from a post office. Okay. And who sent? The, who made those tapes though? Hannah made them. Okay. 